if America ever needed praying for our folks, I'm going to tell you now's the time. So what's happened to our country, America? There's a war against Christianity, and it has gathered momentum. The intelligentsia, professors, scientists, and philosophers have jetsoned their religious faith, and Christianity, ladies and gentlemen, has become a dead issue. Mr. and Mrs. America, oh, hear what I have to say. I died to save our country, the land of the USA, so you could go shopping, have a home, and love, and play. Yes, I'm one who gladly paid the price. That's why I'm here today. I want America to be free. I want her to stay great. So keep her clean from within. Don't wait till it's too late. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. America, listen as I say. Should the fighting start all over, I'd join again today. There are other fellas here like me, and they come from every state. And I know that we can count on you to keep America great. Yes, I'm the unknown soldier with no nameplate at my head. Though my body here is sleeping, <laughs> I'm everything but dead. The real me is still living. Over here we have no pain. And there's always sunshine, no cloudy skies and no rain. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. America, please listen as I say. Boys from every branch of service are with me here today. We came from farms and cities and from every walk of life. And some gave up a mom and a pop, and some a child and a wife. Now it seems fate degrees that it must be done, that right must fight till right has finally won. We know we won the fight to have peace and liberty, but you must turn to God if you would keep her free. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. America, there's one far greater than me, and he died for your freedom in love and humility. So kneel down now in repentance before it's too late, for it's that kind of freedom that will keep America great. God bless you.